Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll learn what's the difference between git fetch and git pull command, right? So first of all, we'll understand the all concept related to these two commands. And finally, uh, we'll, we, will, uh, we will try to understand uh, differences using an example as well, yeah? So when we talk about the, first of all, git fetch, git fetch only downloads latest changes into the local repository it downloads fresh changes that other developers have posted to the remote repository since the last fetch and allows you to review and merge manually at later time using git merge right because it does not change your working directory the st or a staging area it is entirely safe and you can run uh, it as often as you want so here what uh, what point i'm trying to uh, tell you when you use git fetch right then it will bring all the changes from the remote repository to your uh, local repository right and uh, this will not affect your working directory if you want to further bring your uh, basically changes uh, from local repository to your working directory then further you need to use a command is called git merge and afterwards afterwards you can merge all those changes into your whole local directory right so as 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 you know that now git fetch basically just bring the changes from the remote repository to local repository so there is no chance for any kind of conflict right uh, so thing is that when to use git fetch if you want to check is there any operation happens on the remote branch before uh, before basically uh, pushing or change then git fetch is the very good command right now let's try to understand git pull git pull basically downloads latest changes into the local repository and it also automatically merges changes in your working directory it does not give you a chance to review the changes before merging and as a consequence uh, merge conflicts can and do occur one important things things to keep in mind is that it will merge only into the uh, current working branch other branches will stay unaffected so here are uh, point what point i'm trying to say when you use git pull then it will bring all the changes from your basically remote branch to your working directory so basically that will bring all the changes from the uh, remote directory to your working directory basically this will uh, basically do internally two things git fetch means that will change uh, or, or that will bring all the changes from the remote br branch to local repository and plus git merge and that will merge all those changes into your working directory and because of that if your working directory has some changes and remote branch has, has some changes uh, in the same file and the same line then you may get some conflict right so i hope you understood the difference between these two let's try to understand same with a pictorial diagram so here uh, here we have a remote repository and here we have a local repository. So if you do git fetch, then this will bring all the changes from remote repository to your local repository. That's it. If you want to further, uh, if you want to bring your local repository change to uh, your working directory, then you have to further use the git merge. So now this two step process, if you want to do in the single step, then that's what we have a git pool. So git pool internally issues these two command git fetch and git merge. I hope you understood. Now let's try to understand these things through an example, right? So here is my Eclipse and here I have a basically git repository is called a spring MBC form validation. Currently it is sync with master branch. And here is a git command. Now what I'll do if I do git log first of all it is important to show you then there is uh, there is showing three commits as of now right on this branch right and you can see the unique uh, basically commit id now what i'm going to do just uh, let me clear my terminal i'm going to the remote branch this this is the, my remote branch and there i'm going to make some changes manually so think like a other fellow developer has made some changes and they have pushed their changes into this re repository something like that so i'm going to this package and here this we have a controller right in controller just i'm opening this controller and here i'm going to add it right so on the top of this class i'm going to add uh, basically author name right kk java tutorials right 
So basically, this is not Java doc, but just I have added a basically kind of comment as a author uh, name, right? And uh, what if you come down, then here you can give the update uh, what update you have done. So uh, I would say added Java doc, and here I'm going to added java dog in controller right and just i'm committing this message once you commit the message then for every commit there is a commit id so this is the commit id which we have generated if you look into the complete if you would like to see the complete basically commit id and this is the commit a complete complete id so this is the just initial few characters of commit id right now there is some updation happened on my remote repository now i would like to check if there is any updation happens on the or any any commit happened on my remote repository right if if there is any fellow developer has committed or pushed some changes then i will use git fetch right let's see what git fetch says git fetch says there is some commit happened over here right on master branch and if you look into the commit id if you match this commit id and this commit last character this character matches with this commit id right so this is clearly is telling me that hey there is some updation happens on the master branch so before uh basically uh before committing your changes right uh, just pull uh just just merge your uh, changes with the master branch so this gives you opportunity to merge your changes with the master branch right and let's say what i said when you fetch when you issue git fetch then this will bring all the changes from uh, master branch to local branch right local repository now if i want to uh, basically uh, merge this changes into my local repository then further we have to issue git merge but before that i would say git log then let's see what's the uh, basically in log is still this showing only three commits right because because once until unless you do not merge that will that commit has to history will not get changed now what i am going to do i will do git merge right and press enter now here you can see my local work space has been changed right here you can see local space local work uh, space working directory has been updated right and if i go to the log log right git log then still here you can see git log what is saying uh, uh, git log here you can see there is one more commit we can see right so i say git uh, let me clear this terminal clear then i say git log dash dash one line this is another command to display so here you can see earlier there was three commits right and now one more commit you can see and uh, this is added java doc right so basically this basically uh, brought all changes from uh, basically initially when we do git fetch then that brought all the changes from remote repository to local repository and again when we issued uh, git merge right then uh, changes from the local repository to working directory has been merged right so this basically two step process now i go ahead and what i'll do i'll do one more commit over here right so i'm going to make some change again just i have the author name and i'm doing i did author name right and just i'm committing just doing one more commit right at this time directly i am going to issue here here is my local uh, basically working directory at this time just i am going to issue git pull and you'll see all the changes from the remote repository in one shot will bring into my working directory so i'll say git pull right so this will initiate this will this will internally issue two commands one is git fetch another is git merge so if i go to the my working directory here you can see in one shot i brought all the changes from the remote repository to uh, my working directory but one thing i would like to make it clear if you use git pull directly 
and is there is some change in your working directory as well as in remote branch in the same file and same line then you may get some conflict so guys i hope you are very much clear about the what's the difference between git fetch and git pull this is very important interview question as well so if you are very much clear then you can answer this question guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial